So we're really looking forward to celebrating uh, on June 3rd the feast of the patron saints of our apostolate, uh, St. Charles Luanga and his uh, companions. These are, are 22 uh, young African men uh, from who uh, died in the 1880s uh, in what's now the nation of Uganda. Uh, they were in various ways in the service of the king. In those days, the, the nation was called Buganda, and King Mwanga II um, was, uh, was on the throne. He himself was just a young man, and uh, some of the martyrs are actually a few years older than him. Um, the, the young men uh, who were, went on to be saints, they were um, baptized and instructed by some French priests uh, who had come to the kingdom uh, during the previous king's reign. And they weren't allowed to just preach anywhere, but they were allowed to uh, to talk to the to those who worked in the palace and and in the army and who were close to the king. So for a while, there was a, a rather tense relationship between King Moanga and these French missionaries. He uh, expelled them from his kingdom several times, um, and then uh, towards the middle of eighteen eighty five, uh, things really became very difficult for for the Catholics and for all the Christians in the king's court. Um, the priests were sent away yet again, and uh, the, uh, the king's uh, majordomo, the, the, the kind of overseer of his palace, uh, was a man named Joseph Balakudembe. Um, he was very wise, very mature. I think he was probably late 30s, uh, early 40s. Um, he had served the king's father, um, but the, the young king didn't always get along with, with Joseph. Um, there was uh, an Anglican bishop who was coming to, uh, uh, to evangelize, uh, and he didn't seek the permission of the king before crossing the frontier. So King Moanga sent soldiers out, uh, and they killed him uh, in, uh, in, in the, the wilderness. Um, when Joseph uh, rebuked the king for this as having committed a grave sin, um, the king was enraged and uh, ordered that Joseph be killed. And he was killed in the mo most brutal way. I and mean, he, was, he was hacked to death. His limbs were cut off one at a time. And, and then he was left uh, by the side of the road until he died. Um, so that was November of 1885. Uh, and the next few months just got increasingly tense uh, for the missionaries and for the, for the, uh, the young Catholics in the king's court. Um, many of the, 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 the boys uh, in the king's court, both uh, the Catholics and the unbaptized boys, um, would be invited by the king, who was about 19 years old, um, to spend time with him uh, alone, and uh, oftentimes uh, he would uh, seduce the boys, some of whom were as young as 13 or 14, uh, into uh, homosexual intimate acts with himself and with other other members of his court. Uh, Joseph had, had known that this was happening and so uh, he, he couldn't stop the king um, completely, but he could keep the boys away from him as much as possible. And so the king got increasingly jealous of, of the Catholics, especially who were protecting uh, the boys from, from him and from these um, uh, sinful uh, ideas that he had. Um, in May of 1886, uh, the king and some of his uh, courtiers went hunting, uh, and their servants expected them to be away for several days. Um, the king uh, was hippopotamus hunting, actually, and, and uh, there weren't any animals to be found, and so he came back early, later that same day, uh, and was already annoyed, uh, and then was, was furious when he found that all of his servants had gone out for the day. Um, when one of his servants, uh, a young man named Dennis Sebaguayo, came back with uh, another uh, one of the king's servants uh, who had not, was not baptized and, and had really was the favorite of the king, um, the king asked Dennis, where have you been? And he said, well, we went to see the priests. And so the king very jealously said, you're going to take all of them away from me. Uh, he flew into a rage, took a spear, and pinned Dennis to the wall with it. Dennis, I think, was about 16 or 17 years old. Um, and so um, he, he killed him right there in the middle of the court, then called everyone in, um, all of his servants, and said, all those who pray stand on one side. So the Catholics, as well as some, some who had been baptized in the Anglican Church, 
uh, stood uh, aside. The king threatened them if they didn't give up their religion that they would soon be killed. Uh, they all uh, stood fast. He threw them in prison for the night. And about half of them were baptized that night. They had been receiving instructions, but were baptized by Charles Luanga, who was the head catechist after Joseph uh, had died. Um, they were baptized in prison. And then the next day they were marched uh, 12 miles uh, to a place called Namagongo, which was the uh, place of execution. Um, along the way, each time they came to a major crossroads, one of them was, was executed at the crossroads and left there as an example to others. Um, so the, the uh, servants were, were marched to the place of execution. They were kept in prison there for about a week. Uh, and then on uh, June 3rd, um, uh, about half of the 22 that we uh, celebrate as Catholic martyrs uh, were put to death there by being burned alive. Uh, St. Charles was burned first um, by himself to frighten and intimidate the others. Um, they burned his body a little bit at a time, which caused great agony. But he, uh, he didn't renounce the faith. He called out to God and asked God to forgive uh, his executioners. And then the others uh, that were killed at Namagongo were, uh, were burned alive on one great uh, uh, pyre that was set alight and killed them and about uh, a dozen Anglican martyrs as well. Um, some of the other martyrs, uh, those who were older and were in the king's army or were regional governors, um, the, the king sent soldiers to kill them near their homes and they were either uh, killed by swords or spears or some of them clubbed to death. One, uh, they set dogs on, on one, on St. Luke Benavikintu, um, but just killed in terrible, horrible ways. Um, so they are um, the first modern martyrs uh, of Africa, although in Roman times there were many martyrs, especially in places like Carthage uh, and, uh, and Tunisia and, and Northern Africa. Um, and so they were, um, they were canonized by, by Pope Paul VI in 1963, and he went on a pilgrimage to Namagongo the following year. Um, and so we observe their, their feast town on June the 3rd, which is actually also the ordination anniversary of our founding director, Father Harvey. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, shrine uh, in the chapel in the Courage office and, and relics uh, that have, uh, were a gift to the office uh, of St. Charles and St. Matthias Malumba. Uh, they were the only two whose bodies could be identified. Um, but uh, we have uh, relics of their bodies and, and uh, a place to pray and ask for their intercession uh, each day. And we do invoke them in, in all of our prayers here at the office and each time that we gather for daily Mass.